Do you love sports but hate all the sports channels that don't give enough attention to the sports you love? Do you want a show that dedicates time to not only the sports you love, but the team you love too? Welcome to Variety Sports Network. Here's a look at some of the shows we have here on the VSN. Like football? Join us on Sundays for Talking the Gridiron, where sports fans recap the football games of that week. Yeah, no, for sure. Hey, I really just want to bring this up real quick because I, I thought, like, there's sometimes when you watch a team play, and I, and I, I the Niners defense is just so legit. I don't even know. Great. I, no, I'm, I'm asking. Oh, I'm asking. They're starting to play the the run they're starting to be on with points given up. If they can sustain this throughout the season and into the playoffs and win a Super Bowl behind a seventh behind a Mr. Rell, uh, Mr. This last pick, the whole entire draft, because I can't speak English and say the actual word. That, <laughs> that's what it is. Uh, that's my point. Is like they have an opportunity to be in that level, the way they're playing with the stats they're putting up from this point on. I think earlier in the year. Want to hear a unique take on the NFL? Check out Football from Across the Pond, where you can hear an English perspective of American football. We really need to show that up. We cannot continue to get run on the way we are run on. And it's been a theme for a long, long time. You know, it's just kind of the Packers get run on and that's the way it is, but we need to show that up. For me, that's where we really need to look. At least, I don't at, least we know, at least we know what the Rams are going to do where on Tuesday night. You just run that ball. Well, just did find a running back and give it to them, yeah. It's and Johnny, how do you think you can bring someone in off the crowd and they'll be able to run through the Packers line <laughs> at the moment, you know? Sam, yeah. get, get, get your Primark kit out and go out there. Yeah, I'm going to head up. We need to show it up the D line. Properly Purple, a weekly show devoted to the Minnesota Vikings. They've had three really ugly losses. Obviously, the Monday night game to the Eagles, the 40-3 to to Dallas, and then no defense last week in Detroit, and we lose. Sin City Raiders, a Raiders fan's point of view of the Las Vegas Raiders. Raiders versus Seahawks in Seattle. The 12th man doing its thing, you know, maybe being loud and shit. For what reason? For that L. Ooh. The Raiders came out with a win in overtime, 40-34. to it was a nice one. It was awesome. Out of your Falcon mind, a weekly Falcons podcast. But now, uh, who do you think is scoring on our team? Like, what you think? Like running scores, or you think we throwing the ball in the end zone? Um, I think that we'll run the ball well enough that I think that uh, if Pitts is back, I think he gets in the end zone this weekend, buddy. Okay. I think it's in the end zone. Now, I'm that's a bold prediction. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Yeah, Kyle Pitts scoring a touchdown. John, now John out of his fucking mind. Now, even I'm, <laughs> now y'all think I'm delusional. Even I'm not saying that. Monsters of the Midway, a Chicago Bears fan's perspective. I think that's, that's about done. You know, four games left. Uh, then we can look on to the 2023 season. So... <laughs> Um, basically what's going to happen is I'm just going to kind of go over what we're dealing with when it comes to the Eagles. Uh, Eagles have won four straight against the bears, even though the bears hold the all time record, like 22, 19 and one or 22, 13 and one. This was one of those two. Uh, last win came November 3rd of 2019, uh, with the Eagles, uh, walking away 22 to 14. So the far end of the bench. Our partners from the Rocky Mountains, where they talk about the world of sports. Points for Utah here. I'm going to go Utah uh, winning this game. Um, I, I would love, there's a couple reasons why I like this because I want to see a rivalry back in our home state here in Colorado. I would love to see a CU Utah rivalry that's actually worth something next year. So so I would love to see the Pac 12 schools. Like I said, it's a conference of champions, baby. It always will be. So, Fat Boy Fadeaway, California coverage of all sports. For me, I'm fed up to the point where it's like, it's hard for me to really even watch the game. Like, you know what I mean? I'm serious at times. It's just like kind of disheartening. Like I have Josh Jacobs, so it's nice checking the stats there. But like, I don't know, like I feel bad for your brother, Ryan. Like your dad should have never took him to that tailgate. He would have been still a fan of the Niners. You can get suckered into it. Sorry, Ryan. Shit, I'm sorry that on your birthday. 
but that's what happened to you. But I don't know. I, I just <laughs> Jake's take a deep dive into sports. They've been doing terrific. They are still just they have so much depth and it's amazing. And of course, put us in prime time, you cowards. <laughs> I was reading somewhere that the Pelicans and the Phoenix Suns, yes, a game where Zion had a 360 dunk, did not get in prime time. Blues Notes, a hockey podcast devoted to the St. Louis Blues. So I walk into the newsroom and I pull down the copy off of the feet and I'm, I'm going through that stuff. And out of the corner of my eye, I see somebody walk up next to me. And I look over and I thought, oh my God, it's Jack Block. <laughs> <laughs> She's going through the sports copy. It's my hero. What, what am I going to do? I, I, I was actually frozen. I didn't know what to do. I was just standing there going mm -hmm. through the feature copy. Should I say something? Should I, what, what should I do? Well, this, he's going through sports copy. I'm going through the feature copy. And, I'd say after about five minutes of us both standing there, he finally looks over at me and he says, well, kid, aren't you going to introduce yourself? The seventh inning stretch, a fan's view of the America's pastime. I mean, we never had a, I think the last, and I think they were saying on the other podcast uh, that, the last big player to get, you know, busted was uh, Ryan Braun because he was he just came off the MVP, I believe. Yep. And you know, and it's just like, dude, you, that that definitely hurt his career. Yep. Um, I think Tatis is young enough to where he can he can play, but I mean, he's he may turn into the next A Rod. Yeah. Uh, honestly, like where he just no matter what he does, he's always going to have that around him. And, you know, Dodger fans are not going to get over this. Uh, Padres fans, I'm sure, will get over this. But, you know, Giants and, you know, anybody in the West is not going to remember this and or forget about this. And Cardinals Chronicles. Diehard St. Louis Cardinals fans talking about the birds on the bat. And so, Dodgers. Would you want to go across Nets. town? Would you? If, if, if I want to, if I want to be competitive, I want to go to the Mets or the Dodgers or the Mariners. Even the Mariners. The Mets are not consistently competitive. It doesn't I would matter. I want to go to the Padres. The Padres, yeah. The Padres. No, yeah, I mean, I'm talking about this year, not all time. No one cares about all time. It's what have you done for me lately? And that's the thing is, look, Jordan. Whether you listen, a lot of Cardinals fans will not admit this, but the Cardinals suck. The Cardinals suck right now. And yes, I get that they're they have a winning winning record. Hold they on. are above. Hold on, hold on. They suck. Well, I'm about to I can play. list eighteen teams that are worse. I, I so they wouldn't be sucked. That would be above average. I'm, I'm I'm about to explain why they suck. Why I think they suck. But they don't. You're wrong. Well, I'm about to explain it. Do you want me to look up "suck" in the dictionary real quick and explain to you what "suck" is? Okay. The Cardinals suck monkey dick, which is slightly above so just straight up sucks. <laughs> All right here on the Variety Sports Network. Welcome to your new sports home.